This episode is brought to you by Ariston Specialties in Bloomfield, Connecticut, makers of amazing olive oils and other Greek delights. Check them out online at aristonspecialties.com. That's Ariston, A-R-I-S-T-O-N, specialties.com. I'm Faith Middleton, and we think this is hot dog season. In fact, it is. You know that's true. We're going to get to this. We're going to talk about some of the best brands, the tastes, how to cook them. You know the whole thing. My uh, Fuchmoo's All-Stars are here. We're at our new home, faithmiddleton.com. That's where to find us and all of our shows, faithmiddleton.com, and often things we mention here on the show itself. Uh, This is our podcast home. Okay, here we go. We have Chris Prosperi of Metro Beast Restaurant in Simsbury, Connecticut, Joanne Church, in New London, Connecticut, and Carl Franklin in Quaker Hill, Connecticut. Okay, everybody, Chris, I know we we all love this topic, so um, I could eat about a thousand hot dogs, but let go ahead. Oh, I don't even know where to start. As you know, or maybe you don't know, that my favorite food on earth, and whenever anyone asks me, people I know, people I don't know, hey, as a chef, what's your favorite meal to eat? What's your favorite thing to make yourself? 100% the hot dog. Really? In so many different ways. When I travel, I always look online. Where's the best hot dog place to go wherever I am on the planet? Because even in other countries, they have versions of hot dogs or sausages. So, yeah, I'm a a hot dog aficionado. (laughs) So do you have – if you, you know, if you had to narrow it down and Mm -hmm. get – one choice, you know, a, a way of cooking hot dogs and and tasting a particular brand, you never tire of it. What would that Mm-mm. be, Chris? Oh, my gosh. Okay, a brand. I love New Haven, Connecticut, the Hummel Red Hot. Mm-hmm. Hummel is a company that's been around oh. forever in Connecticut. They make hot dogs mm-hmm. and they do other meats now, too, but they're hot dogs. Hummels are awesome. Oh, my God. And they're Red Hots, which are a little bit bigger than your average hot dog. Yeah. I even now, as I got older, cut them in half half lengthwise right. and out of each hot dog get two hot dogs um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of the New England bun I, I had a friend that was from here that lived in California for a while and believe it or not he would have me bubble wrap yeah. and package up our New England hot dog rolls and send it to him because we apparently they're only sold here in New England so those are the ones that are split yeah. that have the yeah. naked yeah. ends that you can butter and yeah. toast oh my god yeah. and and lately, I've been getting into the Iceland hot dog. Iceland hot dog. Yeah, which is just a little different. They do it on a steamed bun. They have a different type of mustard. It's kind of sweet. They do ketchup as well, which I know for some people is a sin. Um, I used to be in that camp, but not so much. And then they do a mayo that's kind of a remoulade that I'm not into. But I'm telling you right now, for my favorite hot dog, I'm going to go to the Chicago dog. Right. Oh, that's the, what is that's that? the, that's a grilled hot dog. Right. And it has the pickle on top. Right. One pickle on top. And then it can have meat sauce and that green relish. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. The Chicago okay. dog. Okay. Yeah. All right. I could go on, but I'll stop now. No, my, my mouth <laughs> is starting to water. <laughs> you know, we have to let so many of the other folks get to it. Okay. Um, Joanne, how about you? Well, I just want to say that last night for dinner, and I don't really recommend this, um, I had pigs in a blanket. Love it. Oh, wow. That <laughs> yeah. counts. Mini that hot counts. dogs. <laughs> Everything pigs in a blanket. Unbelievable. Mm. And that's really my favorite way to go for hot dogs. And if we're just cooking them on the grill or on the pan, we'll go with a kosher hot dog. But one thing that I tried last month at Porta Call, which is on Water Street in Mystic, they have a hot dog and it's got bonito aioli, which Ooh. is a, like a Japanese uh, yeah, dry umami tuna. flavor. Yeah, yeah they sell flakes. it typically flakes. Spicy mm-hmm. kimchi, Ooh, shallot man. and kelp crunch. Oh my uh, God. Wow. On a double fermented house steamed bao bun. You know what? Wow. I don't even know how to understand what I'm that is. I'm getting in my car like, now. What is no, you have to try it. I it's will like try a hot dog, but it's on like, you know, a bow bun, a steam yeah, yeah. bun. It's, it's like, oh. 
Yeah, it's yeah. like if bread and marshmallow had a baby. It's oh, uh, love it. It's you really, know, you know. But when I say I don't even know how to imagine what that tastes like, people can list off ingredients, and you have in your head if you if you love food, you have some <laughs> kind of an idea of mm-hmm. what something tastes like. You know, just a faint reference to maybe something from the past. That description, <laughs> Joanne, sounds intriguing to me, and I want to yeah. try it. But you I have thought, to. What does it. that taste? You have no like? reference point. You still taste the hot dog. Yeah. That's you the do, cool thing huh? about a hot dog, that it's got so much flavor. Because the kimchi's mystic kimchi, so we know it's not that hot and spicy. Right. <laughs> yeah. jo- Joanne and I like the same kind of kimchi. Yeah. It bubbles, it bubbles when it comes it's out of the kimchi jar. It's still fermenting on your, on your bun. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, it can't be too, too hot, we decided. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, we'll be back as, as fast as you can imagine because we're really getting into this hot dog thing. And we want to tell you about... Um, Bon Appetit magazine did a taste testing, and they have come up with uh, their their top choices, including number one. So we're going to do mm. that in just a second. We'll be right back. I'm Faith Middleton, and this is the Food Schmooze Party at our new home, faithmiddleton.com. Feel free to tell your friends and tell them they're invited to join us at the table. We're doing hot dogs this time. I have Carl Franklin, Chris Prosperi, Joey and Church, and here we... Oh, my dog, Bon Bon, is curled up in his bed. Yeah. Uh, this is a subject that he does care about. Oh, so. <laughs> what dog doesn't yeah. like hot he lifts, dogs? He lifts his head That's up every word. once in a while and... <laughs> Um, Okay, so um, Carl, what do you have? All right. Well, like Chris, I'm a huge fan of the the Hummel Red Hot. You can usually get them at the deli. They do sell them in packs, like, you know, that they're prepackaged, but those ones are usually smaller. The ones at the deli are big. Carl, can I jump in and ask you a question? Yeah. I forgot to ask Chris, when you say Red Hot's, are they actually hot or it's, they it's are. a reference to size? Mm-hmm. They, no, they, yeah, okay. they are hot. They have okay. uh, chili flakes in them. Oh, um, okay, red, go ahead. Red pepper flakes. Um, so, yes, they, they are spicy and they are bigger than your typical hot dog. Uh, I have a couple of products to recommend because, as you know, I'm low carb, so I don't do buns. But Hero makes hot dog buns that are zero oh, carb. Oh, yes. Nice. Mm-hmm. They're, not, they're not gluten-free. Oh, they're not. No, but they are zero carb. So go to Hero.co, get your hot dog buns. What I like to do is uh, steam them in a little steamer. And then for after about eight minutes of steaming the hot dog, I just put the bun in there. You know, open it up and get mm-hmm. like 10 seconds of steam on that bun. And then for a condiment, I've been really lately into this G. Hughes sugar-free uh, dipping sauce. It's called Famous Cluckin' Dipping Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Love the name. Uh, yeah. And, you know, it's kind of sort of like a honey mustard. It's sweet. It's smoky. And it's re- it's not just for chicken. It's really good for just about any any kind of meat. So, But but do they market it, you know, the clucking thing, do they market it for chicken specifically? Well, there's and a then- picture of a chicken on it, but uh, uh-huh. it, okay. it's just, it's called sugar-free don't, dipping don't sauce. Don't pay attention. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And and it's famous cluck in C L U C K dash I N cluck in. Okay, love yeah. um, And well, I love that. I just that's that's the way I eat them. Love them. Okay, that sounds good. Um, we're, I'm going to go to Bon Appetit magazine because they did um, a testing, and they said, you know, we're asking this question: which hot dog brand is best? And so it was a blind tasting, um, mm-hmm. meaning. You know, you, you don't know whose brand it is, but you just eat them and you decide. So they went through, you know, tons of them. And basically, a lot of them got a, mm, nah, you know, yeah. <laughs> until the last one. And I'm going to turn to that right now. The last one. Um, oh, by the way, the biggest loser was Oscar Mayer. So if anybody enjoys Oscar Mayer, please do not be insulted by them or us. <laughs> you know, yeah. this is independent people. You know, things can go on on the day you're tasting. And so here we go. Um, they didn't like ballpark uh, Franks. Um, okay, here we go. Hebrew National Love was yes. their very, very – no, I'm sorry. I'm making I'm making a terrible mistake. <laughs> um, they they liked Hebrew National, and your hot dogs can be either 
all beef, all steak, you know, all uh, half beef and half pork, uh, and then the vegetarian kind. Uh, like I'll even life. throw in faith in Iceland, the ones I've been dabbling with, beef, pork, and lamb. Wow. Wow, no. and a dog. And a dog. Wow. Is that good? It's so Hey, if good. Merguez is good. It's so Yeah, good. that's true. That's true. Hey, um, Chris, remember you used to bring me um, these hot dogs that were steak dogs. Oh, yeah. They were from Fleming Farm. That was in Sim- That's in Simsbury, and they're an egg farm, and his brother, I believe, in Vermont raised beef cattle, and that's where they got the organic beef, you know, steak meat for the hot dogs, and they were really good, but they don't make them anymore, and it's sad know. because they were that's- big too, right? They were bigger oh, than even the Hummel Red Hot. Huge. Mm. They were like knockwurst. <laughs> yes, yeah, like, you cut um- those in quarters. <laughs> I had a knockwurst for lunch today. <laughs> you did? Oh, my I did. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Bon Appetit chose um, Nathan's. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh-huh. And when they list what the ingredients are in these particular hot dogs, they're kind of all like this, unless you're doing those farm fresh ones, like all right. steak. Um, and so there's... There are all these strange words that are in this hot dog, but they th- th- it was the only plate on the table out of a lot of hot dogs mm. where the plate was empty when, wow. the, when the tasting was done. All the editors said, oh, they went back for seconds and they went back for thirds. Wait, so was Joey know. Chestnut there? <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, Joey Chestnut is a world champion hot dog eater. Nathan's. He beat his own record. Yep. Yeah. La- last year. I watched it once. I can't watch it again. I, can't, I no, wouldn't be able no. to watch it. 63 hot dogs in 10 minutes. You oh really don't God. want to eat a hot dog after you see that. No. Well, you don't want to see it. It's the thing. Don't try <laughs> this at all. I do not kids. want to see it. A few more but, weeks. <laughs> but Nathan's be- do make a, you know what I find? Nathan's has the highest salt content. That's why I like it. It's a oh. saltier dog, but it has a like nice that. balance of sweetness in it too but it has a high sodium punch in it which is yeah. probably why they what did they it say so was much. the worst on the list faith did you say that um well uh, oscar meyer oscar meyer, oscar meyer oscar yeah oscar you know meyer what brilliant. i'll disagree a little bit i've never had a hot dog i didn't like i have one for mm-hmm. you chris go to the netherlands and get a frickendel Frickendel, all right. Frickendel is a deep fried hot dog like sausage oh. food product that should be banned. It's horrible. <laughs> Wait, you can't get it at the Big E? He has no. to go to the Netherlands. You got to go to the Amsterdam or somewhere and in it's the world. Wow. Frickendel? Frickendel. F R I K A N D E L. And I'll add a link to the Wikipedia page. Did you try it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Once. Yep. It's just absolutely disgusting. They have these <laughs> other fried things called bitter ballin', yep. which is like deep fried gravy. It's like Love gravy it. that's frozen and wow. breaded and then deep fried. And you take a bite and you're like. You mean you're walking around? <laughs> no, you're having yes. like a, a, a gravy snow cone as yeah, you're walking no, it's around? A, it's like, it looks like, like a meatball. It looks like a, um, an arancini, right? A nice. deep fried ball. But you bite into it and it's just this thick goopy gravy like stuff Sticky. and they love this this is like you know what they drink <laughs> what they eat after a night of drinking before we end can i throw one more dog in yep go ahead all right the new york city dirty water dog with their soupy tomato onions and i know i brought friends from here to new york city and they're like i don't see what that's so special about this and maybe it's just food memory for me but that by far is one of my favorite dogs Oh, mm. okay. Favorite. You know, what is it about um, Saturdays? If I have hot dogs in the refrigerator, there's something about a Saturday lunch where I'm going to get out the fry pan. I'm not even going to grill. I'm just going to get out the fry pan. <laughs> right. I'm going to cut my hot dog in half so that it's like that old school thing, you know, like mm. Capital Lunch in New Britain where yeah. they do hot wieners. That's my absolute yep. favorite with the meat sauce on top yeah. of the hot dog. Mm. Um, flat-sided roll, uh, raw onions and mustard. Oh my God, that thing is unbelievable. That's in New wow. Britain, Capital Grill. <laughs> okay, now, so... Um, I will take out my fry pan, I'll cut the hot dog in half lengthwise, and then just, you know, make some slices in the uh, uncut side so mm-hmm. that the hot dog doesn't make a U in the pan. Yeah. It just stays kind of flat. And then I just fry up 
each, both, both sides, open side and closed side of the hot dog. And, um, and then I eat it with mustard. Sometimes mm. I don't even reach for a bun. And it is <laughs> yeah. delicious. There's just nothing like a hot In dog. In three minutes, right? It takes yep. no time and so convenient. Exactly. Yeah. One trick I like to do is cut them into coins. And then fry them in butter so that you get more surface area of that of that flavor. Yeah, of that like crunchy. fried bologna, the crunchy. Yeah. So, so um, how about uh, hot dog slices and eggs? Oh, sure. Does anybody? Yeah. Do you ever do sure. that? Yeah, it's oh, good, isn't it? When I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Never heard that. of it. Well, you Never can make a kielbasa omelet. I mean, you can kind of think of it the same way, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just saying you've got to do hot dogs. Just oh, go get you, a hot even dog if right you, now. If, if you are um, <laughs> vegetarian or um, vegan, mm-hmm. you can get hot dogs. You know, I would go to a health food store to get them, but sure. you don't have to. Some supermarkets carry them. And mm-hmm. um, let me see, Light Life does a... Uh, vegetarian and vegan one, mm-hmm. and the one the hamburger place, you know, that does the the fake hamburger. What's that called? Oh, uh, yeah, Beyond Impossible Beyond, Burger. Yeah, Beyond Burger. Burger. Oh, Beyond Burger. So Beyond, Beyond Burger does does a, <laughs> vegan, a, you know a vegan uh, hot dog. So mm. everybody is covered in this mm-hmm. thing. Okay, mm. except for maybe the low salt people. I like meat, but I love you know vegetarians are great. I eat them every day. So. <laughs> Okay. I have nothing okay. against I'm not, vegans. I'm not going near nothing that. Nothing against vegetarians. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not touching that. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Hey, this not has sorry. been really, really fun. We just wanted to put the idea of hot dogs in your head. And um, come back with us next week. We are at faithmiddleton.com and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Waiting for the summer to come.